Biden's comments regarding Russian President Vladimir Putin's possible use of nuclear weapons is raising new concerns about the war in Ukraine. The president warned on Thursday that he takes Putin's threats seriously and that the world is closer to Armageddon. This says a counteroffensive by Ukrainian forces has Russia losing ground and its military on the run, as Charlie mentioned. Christina Ruffini has the very latest from the White House. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Dana. Well, President Biden didn't respond to our shouted questions about those remarks yesterday as he boarded Marine One, but that same language is now being used by the Ukrainian president, who said in an interview he believes Russian officials are laying the groundwork with the Russian public for a potential possible future use of nuclear weapons. I think that it's dangerous even to speak about it. In an interview with the BBC, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky said he doesn't know if Russia will use nuclear weapons, but he and President Biden agree on the consequences. I agree it is an Armageddon. It is the risk for the whole planet. That word first uttered this week by President Biden at a closed-door Democratic fundraiser in New York, where he said, quote, I don't think there's any such thing as the ability to easily use a tactical nuclear weapon and not end up with Armageddon, the risk of which he added the world hasn't faced since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. Russia has an estimated 1,000 to 2,000 short-range nuclear weapons at storage sites around the country, including one close to the Ukrainian border. They could be launched from an aircraft from the sea or from the ground by a nuclear artillery shell. Here's one being tested by the U.S. Army in the 1950s. Uh, this would be a serious mistake by Putin, but he needs to know that in advance, we can stop it from happening uh, in the first place. Congressman Mike McCall is the top Republican on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. We see any indication from the intelligence community that he is taking steps forward to, to uh, launch a nuclear threat into Ukraine. Uh, I think we need to show that to the world. The White House says President Biden's comments were not prompted by any specific evidence. A White House official tells us just a growing concern about Putin's rhetoric, which that individual called, quote, reckless and irresponsible. Now, in that same interview, President Zelensky was asked if Ukraine wins the war, does he think Putin survives? After pausing for a second, he said, quote, I don't care. Dana.